Welcome yet again to another wonderful netbook video. Uh, again, this is a, a continuation from my last video, actually, uh, where I put Ubuntu Netbook Edition on my netbook. And this time, we are going to put Jolly Cloud on. This time, I'm going to add a little bit different video than I did last time, and I'm not going to re go over things. If you want to know how to create a bootable USB key for Linux versions, or actually anything, if you want to uh, copy your Windows CD onto it, um, you can do it within Windows or any other operating system, for that matter. But if you look at my last video... Um, over the Ubuntu Netbook Edition, we uh, went over how to get an ISO or create a bootable USB key from a disk image. So, okay. I have so here we have the USB drive and my Dell Mini 10V. I will put the drive inside of the computer, right like that. And I'm going to go ahead and boot up. And then I'm just going to make sure I go into the US. It boots into the USB key by going directly to the boot loader menu here by hitting F12 as it shows there scrolling down to the USB storage and clicking enter and Jolly Cloud yay comes right up so if I hit install Jolly Cloud hit enter it should take me to the install menu is for what I would imagine cool So here we go, here, there we are, I will choose English, uh, no, not Eastern, uh, Chicago area, Let's see here, Board layout stuff, and then next. So obviously here it shows that I have Ubuntu 10.10 .10 on there right now. I'm gonna go ahead and erase and use the entire disk for Jolly Cloud. Even kind of gives you an idea. Step four right now. Step five. And the next boot. Seven oh seven. Just hit install. And there she goes. And I don't know how long it's going to take. Probably will take less time, I would assume. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that install. And then uh, I'm actually going to take some time myself and uh, go over it myself. And uh, when I actually have more of a conclusive evidence of what I like or dislike about it, that's when I'll come back and uh, we'll continue the video. One thing I wanted to show you real quick here, you can tell uh, this is my uh, Jolly Cloud desktop. But um, right now I have one of four updates being um, installed and actually this is ju I just ins I just uh, booted back up this morning and uh, this is the first thing that happened and obviously right now boxy which and you can also see that it's you know slowly blinking I guess and uh, telling me that it is updating and uh, just thought that was one interesting thing that's kind of neat so as you can see it's it's been a little bit since my last video I talked about Jolly Cloud but I wanted to give my last little insight here before I posted the video um, and uh, kinda go over what I think of the OS uh, in general in multiple terms uh, it's really basic so that's why I'm not gonna do a whole video on how it works and everything because it really is it's probably as close to I would say Google's Chrome OS although I've never used that obviously yet but uh, it's probably as close as Google's Chrome OS as you're probably gonna get it's basically little apps across the screen you click on the app and you go into it it's all based through Google's Chrome browser I think is actually Chromium the uh, the, the uh, other version of Google Chrome 
uh, and uh, it all runs through the browser. There is no really operating system behind it. It's a browser. And so everything runs through the browser. Um, in that sense, it's very light. It's very light on its feet. It is very fast and spe specifically on a single core atom processed netbook. It's it's you know peppy. It's got some snap to it, so it feels really good. Um, it uh, it's fast for booting up, which is awesome. So that's another plus to it. However, there are some downfalls as with any operating system out there, um, namely. Every, like, I thought it was an annoyance. It's not really that big of a deal. It's probably better for security reasons. But every time you um, start it up, you actually have to enter in your username and then your password. There is no just click on a user, kind of like Windows or, or any other uh, operating system out there. You just kind of enter your password. Uh, or if you don't want a password, well, this you kind of have to. And you have to enter in your username and your password every single time. It doesn't save your username. So I thought that was kind of annoying. Uh, not a big deal, but just an annoyance. Uh, it's underpowered in that it all runs through a browser. That's the benefit, but also the downfall. It's fast and peppy, but you don't have the storage options or the ability to just go out and find whatever application you need. It's Everything's based on their, I guess, app store or whatever you want to call it. The apps are specifically designed to run in the Jolly Cloud OS or the, or the Chromium browser. So... When you actually go out there, you can actually go to Jolly Cloud's site and you can uh, download or test out uh, Jolly Cloud like I did through the Chrome browser at first and uh, basically run it in the background of Windows. It doesn't really run in the background, it runs through the browser, that's it. It's a, basically the same experience for the most part as it is uh, through you know, actually installing it on the netbook itself. So you get a, a good idea. However, it's a little peppier when you actually install it. Um, because there's no windows or anything running behind it so all in all i give this browser a, a thumbs up because it actually works very good if you want a browser just to browse the web and something that's very fast very peppy gets the work done works very well if you want something where you're going to be running microsoft office obviously you're not going to be able to do that so um it's not for everybody and uh, to tell you the truth after i'm done installing all these i'm going to have to think about this you know because i've done the ubuntu netbook now i've done jolly cloud uh the next one i'm gonna do probably gonna do either another linux distro or xp i'm gonna keep it a secret but uh but that's coming up next apologize it's been a few weeks since my last one but obviously we had the holiday break there and now i'm gonna probably try to get back into it a weekly video so um please let me know what you think comment subscribe <laughs> and uh we'll uh hopefully see you next time so till then this is the uh tech gooch uh saying adios and uh hopefully you enjoyed my video all right take it easy